I know you're here to hear me talk about homemade pizza in The Sims 4, but you're gonna have to watch this intro first. I feel like there's a ton of stuff that could be compiled into this list. There's definitely way more than just 10 things Simmers want in Sims 4. I tried to focus on items or activities that were previously featured in other Sims games, like lemonade stands or other stands that children could run. Who else had one of those growing up? I did. My younger brother got a Kool-Aid stand for his birthday one year, so all four of us ran that as a lemonade stand. Something like this would be such a cute activity in The Sims, especially if they could do it with others. Imagine how cute it would be of a child and their sibling, friend, or parent sold lemonade on the street. Players could set up the prices and products for it. It could be set up like how the yard sale tables work. I think this is a missed opportunity that should have been included in kids room, seasons, backyard stuff, perfect patio, or parenthood. Who doesn't like a little pool table action? And no, I'm not talking about this sort of table. It's all about this pool table. Honestly though, why isn't this in the game? It would make for a great tabletop activity for lounges, bars, clubs, in the basement or rec room of your house. There's an air of professionalism and intellect when it comes to the pool table, but yet it's still accessible to everyone and this sort of vibe currently isn't in the game. I'm sorry, but the foosball table does not replace the pool table. I'm guessing that they don't want to have to actually animate the game, since we all know that in Sims 4 they cut corners in that regard. Our Sims have yet to know the thrill of making your own pizza. For some reason, this option isn't available to them, so here they are, stuck eating some pizza pizza knockoff takeout version of it. I'm kind of shocked that they didn't introduce a pizza oven and homemade pizza with my wedding stories, or perfect patio. I don't know how you feel about it, but both those packs sort of gave off pizza vibes to me. Being able to host a pizza party or a backyard get together would be the perfect way to show off your pizza tossing, making and baking skills. There could be various versions of the pizza oven too. A brick one, a metal one, a traditional looking one, a modern one, a tabletop version, a DIY one, and maybe one that's super cheap looking, but it still works all right. Are Sims just incapable of cooking pizzas by themselves? How are pizzas made in this universe? What are your pizza related conspiracy theories on why our Sims can't make pizza at home? Let me know what they are in the comment section, okay? I'm kind of curious and I'm willing to go down that rabbit hole. A few years ago, it felt like everyone wanted tree houses in their game. And this was even before they released ladders. Although it's fun to actually build a tree house, the fun soon wears off when the build is complete. Sure, you can place toys up there and add curtains, rugs, and other decorations, but that's about all you can do. During live mode, you'll send your kid up there to play, but it won't really capture that treehouse fun that you want, since your sim won't even recognize the fact that they're in a little playhouse above the ground, in a tree! How cool is that? And they don't appreciate it. How dare they? You'll encounter and will have to ignore issues, like where the tree is poking through your build, or when the tree disappears when you move the camera angle. All of these could be avoided if we actually got treehouse items. Maybe trees made specifically for tree houses and interchangeable houses for them, or even simply a tree designed for a little playhouse and then the player could create their own. Just anything to prevent those issues and to give our sims the treehouse fun moodlets that they deserve. Our sims are like poker. I hardly know her. <laughs> okay, okay, bad puns aside, there's not a lot of hobbies in The Sims 4, right? Am I right? Do you agree? Please validate JK, me. do whatever you want to do. When I reflect on past Sims, I feel like there is way more hobbies for The Sims to partake in. I mean, they got pottery wheels, sewing machines, proper soccer matches, golf, model train sets, dance contests, playing drums or bass guitar, toy making, drafting blueprints, using items like the surgical training station, observing ants, and so much more that was previously featured in Sims games as hobby activities. In fact, Sims 2 had a whole glob dang pack dedicated to hobbies. That's why it's disappointing that hobbies weren't already fleshed out in the base game at launch. It is a shame to be limited to a few very basic hobbies like gardening or painting. I know we already talked about hobbies just a second ago. Do you remember that? I do. And one could argue that these items could be put into that category. If you were to argue that, I would say you're right. But I feel like I want to talk about these items separately for some reason. Just let me have this. I wish that there was more physical activities for our sims to do. 
Things like trampolines, floor mats, a ballet bar, or simply games like hide and go seek, tag you're it, Simon Says, Red Light Green Light, Bulldog, or Capture the Flag would be nice additions to the physical and fun categories. Where are my rags to riches lovers? This is one challenge that is pretty beloved for many. For me, I always use a tent to begin with, but I like to dream about a playthrough where my sim could get a sleeping bag first. Then I think about all the various sleeping situations that's missing from the game. Where are the hammocks that should have been included in Island Living? The blow up mattresses that should have been in Outdoor Retreat? What about just straight up mattresses on the floor? Pull out couches? It feels like all of the beds included in the game are all the same thing, with slightly different looks and color swatches. I dream about all of those missing sleeping situations that could introduce or add to different storylines into our gameplays. Can you imagine a young sim moving out and sleeping on their mattress on the ground? Children having a sleepover with several sleeping bags in their bedroom? Not everyone has a straight up bed on a frame and I wish we could explore different options for that. The update stairs and ladders has been treating us well, I think. So why do I keep thinking about it? Why can't I stop wanting it? The dream, the, dream, the, vision, the vision, the beauty, the, beauty, the, grace. the grace. Why can't we just get spiral staircases already? At the pace that we're going, I'll be 75 and still complaining about how we still don't have spiral staircases in Sims 4. While they're at it, I'd be happy if they could just fix that railing merging into the wall or fence glitch that's been happening since 2014. Thank you very much. Since we're talking about build mode issues, can we take a second or two to complain about this flat, white, boring ceiling? I'm so sick of seeing it. I didn't know it was possible to hate a ceiling as much as I do, but here we are, hating on this ceiling for 8 years. Why couldn't we at least have a choice of texture? Like, give us popcorn ceilings at least. Then at this point, I'd probably be saying like, yay for the flat ceilings, I hate the popcorn ceilings. Beams, textures, colors, anything would help this boring old ceiling from being boring and old and distracting when you're trying to show off a brilliant build. Our final thing that simmers want in the game would be more decor items that fit into the shelves. Currently, all of my shelves are a variation of this. This versatile plant, a tissue box, an award or two, this sculpture, and some pictures of, you know, a pear and an apple and this soccer team. Not much else actually fits onto the shelves, which is a real shame. There is so much that could and should go onto it, but we're limited with our options. It's always sad to reflect on all of the things missing from Sims 4 that were featured in previous Sims games. It's also nice to hold on to hope that maybe one day they will give us this, hopefully in a free update. Is there something that you would have added to this list? I want to know what it is. Tell me what it is. I appreciate you for watching and hopefully you're staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. Also, water your plants and pet your pets. Bye!